This prosthetic harnesses the user's own power and movement to initiate motion in an artificial finger. The prosthetic does this by translating the motion of a user's residual finger through a system of linkages to mimic the user's natural grabbing patterns. In this video, we will explore how the principles of dynamics can be applied to prosthetic fingers such as this. To break it down to fundamental dynamics principles that govern the motion of the prosthetic, we will draw out a basic diagram of the components. The main force is applied to section A. Due to the relative motion of the rigid body, the remaining components follow the motion of the curved finger. Looking more closely at section A, we can see that point 2 rotates in a circle about the anchor, labeled point 1. We know that due to the laws of relative motion, to determine the velocity of point 2, we can use the radius, which in our case is the length of link 1, 2, times the angular velocity, omega 1, 2, which is determined by the applied force. Now, to determine the velocity of point 3, we will utilize our understanding of the motion of link 1, 2 to determine the motion of link 2, 3. The governing equation behind how they relate to each other is the velocity of point 3 equals the velocity of point 2 plus the velocity of point 3 in relation to point 2. In order to determine the motion of the fingertip, we would continue this process down the linkages. The gray Lego pieces on your left are section A, the black in the middle are section B, and the white on your far right are the fingertips. As you can see, as a single force is applied on the first linkage, the rest of the finger rotates. The white part on the end represents a fingertip that rotates downward and inward towards the anchored point on your right. So to reiterate, a single force causes the links to all rotate together. This is a blown up model of a single finger. In order to model the entire hand, four of these models would be utilized. The prosthetic would be beneficial for a patient who has a significant portion of the residual finger remaining and dexterity, which would allow them to initiate the movement of the prosthetic hand. In this clip, I am restricting the motion of section A, and this prevents the tip from being able to move in any direction. So the three links are all connected in such a way that they all must be able to freely rotate for the others to rotate as well. In conclusion, rigid body kinematics and dynamics are demonstrated by prosthetics, such as the finger mechanism highlighted in this video.